So guys, leapfrogging right into another review is the Benchmade AFK. And this knife I've been carrying for a little while now and really enjoying it. I also want to note, so before we get into this, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more wintry Alaskan awesomeness. Now, let's get into this. So, to start off, I do want to note that this is my first auto that I've personally had, not so much held or used, but for my own self, actually having an auto. This is my first one, this Benchmade AFK. And uh, what led me to it first was really, I do like the overall design of the AFK. For me personally, as I mentioned in my 940, Benchmade 940 review, uh, I like knives that have more size to them, more girth, kind of, they just feel like they actually fill up the hand more. And I've noticed with a lot of autos, especially things like the Kershaw Launch entire line is, well, I guess not the entire line. They're Emerson Launch 4s, I believe, or maybe that's the Launch 6, but whichever one's the Emerson collab is actually pretty good. But a lot of the launches and different autos in general, especially Protex as well, they have very thin, skinny handles and those are great for actual use, I guess, but for me personally, I always really liked a knife that really had good ergonomics, and I loved the ergonomics slash jimping on this knife, and overall, I think it's actually a really good looking knife personally, and so that's kind of what led me first to the AFK and why I chose it over the many, many, many other autos that are out there on the market. I was also able to get this one for a better price because this is a tad bit used, so I did get this one in fairness used, so I got it for a little bit less than uh, what's norm what they normally go for. So that's also another thing to factor in. Was not sent this thing, but I just bought it personally with personal money, but just used. So <clears throat> not from Benchmade, but anyways. So uh, that aside, as far as it goes, as far as the auto action goes, I've really liked it. And one thing I will note, because I had the Benchmade Barrage, the spring-assisted or automatic knives that Benchmade puts out, they fire very strong. And this one's no exception. This one may seem a little bit slower because it's out here in the ice cold. And once folders kind of get a little bit cold, the uh, lubrication that helps them glide smoothly kind of begins to freeze so this thing's gonna be deploying a little slow today but do trust me in normal heated environments when it's around room temperature around 70 above to 60 above uh, this thing fires fast and it fires hard and so it is it's a very hard and fast firing knife for the most part except for when it's cold <laughs> So aside from that, I've, for the most part, really enjoyed it. It's a really great utilitarian knife. This one is unfortunately serrated, in my opinion. I kind of consider that an unfortunate thing. I'm not a huge fan of serrations, but once again, <clears throat> I didn't have a whole lot of choice in that because of how I was getting the knife. So uh, I had to go for the serrations. And in fairness, the serrations have not been the worst thing. Once again, I do have a Griptilian that also has serrations and it works just fine for being just an overall good utilitarian tool. So aside from that, like I said, it has been a really great EDC knife uh, for opening packages, opening boxes, opening different containers. I'm gonna roll in some use footage as per usual. Uh, definitely it has worked well and once again I really like the auto function it makes it really easy and seamless so that when you come up to a package you can just hit this button and then go right to cutting now of course this is an auto so you do have to factor in legality if you guys can legally get one of these things I would probably recommend it they are a little bit pricey at $220 but there are quite a bit or quite a few of them out there on the secondary market for under $200. But even at $200, these are definitely not bad knives. You have to factor that these are automatics. So automatics generally garner a higher price than uh, your normal just standard folding knives. And once again, being that it's a bench made, it does fire hard and fast. So that is a nice feature of perk to it being a bench made. Overall, <laughs> two downsides of this knife, or two of the downsides of it, 
Uh, there really hasn't been a whole lot of complaints for me. The lockup on this knife is very firm. There's absolutely no up and down play. There is a tiny bit of side to side play, but that is to be expected in any auto or out the front knife because of how they fire with the springs and everything. You're pretty much always going to find that they are have a little bit of side to side play, but the up and down on this is rock solid. There's no up and down play whatsoever. It's very solid feeling and very, very rugged feeling. So, or very, very stiff. It does not feel like it's gonna go anywhere. Uh, other than that, uh, so it's definitely an upside to it. Um, <clears throat> the only other thing, I, or the only primary downside I might say to this knife really is the fact that it has full metal scales. Some people may not like that fact. It does add weight to the knife and it also is not the most comfortable thing to hold in the cold weather like right now like you guys can see i'm holding it with mittens for a reason and that is because if i wasn't it would be very painful to hold this ice cold knife so that's a little bit of a downside but for the most part i don't really have an issue with it being full metal the full metal handles do also allow it to be tougher or just overall more robust and you're not really going to see as many breakages at the handles if that is really even a realistic possibility <laughs> But uh, the only other downside it really has, in my personal opinion, is its price point. So it's, it is a little bit more of a pricey knife. But once again, being an auto, it's not super surprising that it's expensive. And also, being that it's a Benchmade black class, it's also not that surprising that it's expensive. Because Benchmade black class knives are not the cheapest knives out there. But overall, I really do like this knife. It's been a fantastic auto. I'm really glad to actually get an auto, finally, because uh, just for a short brief Alaska history, autos haven't always been legal here in Alaska to carry and to use. But uh, about in 2000, I think it was 14 or 2013, it might have been even earlier than that, but around that time frame, uh, they actually legalized the carry of automatic knives for civilian people personnel so now really anyone can carry an auto and ever since that point I've been trying to get one not really seriously trying to get one until here late but I really just wanted to get one see what they were all about really carry one every single day and for the most part I mean there's no there's nothing magical or special though these knives in most states are restricted to law enforcement only there's not like there's really a big difference between an auto or a normal folder really a spring assist is basically the same thing as this and you know even most slick folders like a benchmade 940 or pretty much any benchmade i have i keep them all very slick so they uh, really do fly fast and so there's really not a huge difference but it's a little bit fun and it gives you something to kind of play with and it's it's nice to have a button that you kind of just use and it fires out the blade that's kind of fun and uh, they definitely look really cool and if you're into the second cool factor of an auto knife and you can legally have one in your state i would definitely consider the afk it's a pretty awesome one i really like the ergonomics of this uh, knife and overall the performance has been pretty stellar anyways guys that's all for now god bless and i'm out